If you are asked to balance the equation C3H3 plus O2, this is how you do it. This is a combustion reaction. It's actually organic combustion. That's the type of reaction. So we have our hydrocarbon, we have oxygen gas, and we end up with carbon dioxide and water. So type of reaction, organic combustion. Let's count the atoms up. And the only thing to be careful about, we have two oxygens here and one here. Two plus one, that equals three. So make sure you count all of the oxygens on the product side. To balance the equation, we like to leave the oxygen till last with these combustion reactions because when we change the coefficient in front of the O2, that won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So with combustion reactions, oxygen goes last. Let's put a three in front of the CO2 because one times three, that'll give us three carbon atoms. Those are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. Three times two is six, plus we have the one here. That gives us seven oxygen atoms. It looks like we now have a bit of a problem with the hydrogens because we have this odd number here and an even number here. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a two in front of the C3H3. Three times two, that gives me six, but now three times two here, that'll give me six. So that maybe is a better way to do it. That does mean I need to change the three right here now. So to get six carbons, I need to make this a six. One times six, that gives me six carbons and then oxygens. This is six times two, that's 12, plus the one in the water here, 13. All right, well, let's put a three in front of the H2O because two times three, that'll give us six. That'll fix the hydrogens. Let's update the oxygens again. So we have six times two is 12, plus three times the one, that's three. We have 15, so that's a bit of a problem. The way we solve this is we know that two times some number is gonna equal 15. Two times 15 over two, that would equal 15, the twos would cancel out. So we could just put 15 over two in front of the oxygen and we'd be done. These are the correct coefficients for CH3 plus O2. So we've balanced this correctly. Some teachers, they don't like having fractions here. But that's pretty easy to fix because we could just multiply everything by two and we'd still have the same ratio. So let's do that. We're going to multiply all the coefficients by two. And these are the whole number coefficients for balancing the equation C3H3 plus O2. Both ways are correct, but again, some teachers like whole numbers when you balance equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C3H3 plus O2. The type of reaction here, combustion. Thanks for watching.